Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Jashan. I hope you all are doing well. In recent days, I have not uploaded any video that's really bad of me. Although I was little active on my social media posts like on LinkedIn and YouTube, but I did not upload any video. Reason is I was really occupied, but of course that's not the reason. I was actually free. I just got fond of laziness. I don't know why, but I should not be that lazy. But today I have gathered all my energy and started making this video, which is going to be really amazing and really, really helpful to you guys, especially those aspirants who are looking for the joinings in the year 2025 in the VLSA industries. So if you have not subscribed my channel, then I would request you to subscribe my channel and like this video. I have covered interview questions of a lot of semiconductor companies on my YouTube channel, and those are like Intel, STM, Cadence, Qualcomm, Synopsys, MediaTek, etc. But today I have covered interview questions experienced by one of my friends in the recent days from a very prominent and well-established company, especially from software and hardware profiles and that is Google. So Google, as you very well know, it is the market leader in the research engine based product and it is the most visited website followed by YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Now today I am going to share the questions asked by Google for hardware engineer role. Also, I am going to tell you about the number of rounds for the whole interview process, amount of stipend offered to the aspirant, whether it was an off-campus or on-campus interview and uh, most importantly job location and uh, whether it was an interview process for a B-Tech guy or m -tech guy. So all of these queries I will be resolving in this video. Well, if I talk about the market situation of the VLSA industries, then I must say that it is improving and growing after the recent uh, recession in the economy. Eventually, after US Chips and Science Act 2022, which was made to offer federal subsidies for chip manufacturing and development, and further India's semiconductor mission to expand chip fabrication, packaging, and assembly ecosystem, semiconductor companies are growing and getting better numbers in revenue and PAT, that is profit after tax. So in lieu of this, Google India has hired VLSA aspirants for hardware engineering role all over India from Tier 1 and Tier 2 universities and colleges. Now without any delay, let me share the details of the interview and after that we are going to see the questions asked by Google and these questions are going to be the latest questions which uh, aspirants are looking for and those who are going to join the Google in 2025. Here we go. So Google has organized on campus hiring in November 2024 for the Tier 1 and Tier 2 universities and colleges and those are private universities and colleges. And if we talk about the location, they have offered their packages for the job location of Bangalore at a huge stipend amount of rupees 1.25 lakh per month. So getting an amount of 1.25 lakh in your bank account just after college must be an exciting moment for you guys, especially for the freshers. And sometimes it can be emotional for your parents as well. So no doubt getting this much money into your bank account just after the completion of your college is, is, is your best moments of your life. Now it shows that Google is one of those companies which offers really good packages especially for VLSA engineers and which are just at par with the software engineers as well. Times are gone when only software engineers were believed to be getting much much higher packages in the industry. Here VLSA engineers are getting much higher packages and even better packages from the software engineers in the top VLSA industries. Now talking about this interview, Google had organized three number of rounds for the whole hiring process. From these two number of rounds were the technical rounds in which they have asked technical questions from the VLSI and those were basically from the your conceptual questions and some coding questions. And the third round was the HR round. All of these rounds were organized by three different persons from the Google and all of these three were at a good position, good uh, hierarchy in the Google. Generally, we see that other VLSI companies like STM, Qualcomm, Synopsys, they, they generally uh, have their single technical round and one HR round but Google has organized three rounds and from those two rounds were the technical rounds. Let me also clarify that this interview was organized for a BTEC guy who has just completed his college and uh, he has his degree in electronics engineering. So with this I have covered the basic information for this interview. We have covered like a stipend amount, job location and uh, for a BTEC whether it was for a BTEC and MTEC interview. So all of these things we have already covered. So with this we are moving forward to the questions asked by Google during these two technical rounds. But before that, let me tell you that I will be sharing only the questions. I will not tell you the answers. 
answers you have to tell me in the comment section and that is must for you because if i can do some hard work to tell you the questions then you have to put in your efforts to tell me the answers and ultimately it is going to help you as well because with this you can at least practice some of the bilese questions now looking over the comment section agar mujhe kuch answers kafi acche lage then i will pick those answers and uh, will pin those answers as well and i will get your email details and will uh, further contact you to provide you some goodies so you have to give the answers for all the questions which i will be sharing with you guys so with this let's move to the questions so here are the questions of technical round 1 and the very first question was give me your introduction so this is a very basic question every interview will ask you so you have to prepare your introduction within 2 minutes or 3 minutes after the introduction they asked the next question and it was tell me the difference between mele and moors machines so it is a very basic question from digital electronics after this next question was explain the different reasons of the mosfet and after the answers of this question they immediately ask why saturation occurs so this uh, whole question was as a one question with this they were just trying to check the basic conceptual knowledge of the candidate after this next question was draw a state diagram to detect 110 overlapping sequence using moore and mele machines so the question is really easy but during the interview process it might not that easy but still the candidate uh, gave his answer really well so after this the next question was write very low code to implement the above moore state machine sequence detection so this question was uh, just interconnected to the previous question that is was the uh, sequence detector so they have just tried to ask the very low code for the detector after this coding question they tried to check the uh, basic uh, deep knowledge of the candidate of the basic concepts so the next question was explain dibl that is drain induced barrier lowering so this effect is very much uh, common effect you must have uh, learned this effect during your theory so after this question next question was explain setup and hold time so this is a very basic question from the digital vlsi design book and this question is generally asked in every interview so you just prepare this question very well i have seen many interviews this question is just common in every interview so this question you just prepare very very well so it is star mark now after this question they asked next question draw cmos inverter using pmos and nmos so this is again a very very basic question from the digital vlsi design now after these conceptual and coding questions they moved to the resume uh, my friend had uh, some publications and research work in the resume he has mentioned so he had done two three projects in the winter session and some some sessions and vacations so interviewer asked two three questions from the resume now this shows that along with the basic concepts of the vlsi industry and along with your uh, coding you have to prepare your resume really well you have to just go through the resume and you just see what kind of things you have mentioned there and you have to tell them the projects you have done even they can ask you about the tool which you have used during your project they can ask you the results of your uh, project work so all all these kind of questions you have to prepare for the resume and for the for your interview so with this it clarifies that resume is very important for any interview process so with all these questions of resume coding and basic concepts technical round 1 completed and all of this took just uh, 1 hour and 15 minutes which is i think quite a long interview but it was an online interview process so the candidate done really well that's why he got his uh, first round clear so i have told you eight to nine questions of technical round 1 so you have to give the answers of all these questions in the comment section so with this let us move to the technical round 2 questions which was organized after 3 days when uh, the candidate got the mail that he has cleared his first round interview so again the very first question was the introduction because this interview was organized from another person so he again asked for the introduction again you have to tell you some a brief introduction about yourself to the interviewer after this he asked next question so he has given a mathematical equation and told to draw its logical circuit so it's again a very basic question from the digital electronics we just see in our btech uh, subjects and even your master uh, subjects as well after this question he asked next question what is soc process flow so this is system on chip process flow and you have to tell the answer of this question as well in the comment section now after this he asked two very basic conceptual questions and those were from the mosfet and the very first question was what is tunneling effect in mosfet and the next question was what is gidl that is gate induced drain lowering so these two questions were to check the concepts of the candidate and he must have answered really well and you have to tell the answers of this these two in my comment section as well now after this next question was what is latch up so it's a very basic question and now after this next question was
so this shows that interviewers generally try to create questions from one question and he just drive your interview so it is also upon the candidate how he drives his interview you need to use the, those terms which you know already know so this is how a candidate can drive his interview now after this question there was one question from the coding and it was like 